Well, more than 25,000 people across the state received a dose of the COVID-19 vaccine since yesterday. 15,000 of those people actually got their second dose, which means there are close to 600,000 people in Arkansas who are fully vaccinated against the virus. And looking at this chart, you'll see we are so close to having a quarter of the state's 16 and older population fully immunized. About 60% of the state's population remains unvaccinated this evening, but that number continues to slowly go down every day as we begin the fifth month of vaccinating people here in the state. And if you're looking for more information about those vaccines or how to set up an appointment, just text the word vaccine to 501-376-1111 and we will send you the links to several helpful articles. But as shots go out and cases continue to fall in our schools, so-called back to normal is close at hand when we go back to school. And in Conway, they're planning to have everyone back in person. THV 11's Mercedes McKay explains why virtual options are off the table. Several schools across central Arkansas have announced that they will be offering in person learning this fall as well as a virtual academy. But administrators here in Conway believe on site learning is what's best for their students. We just know that that what we did this year was not ideal for the 2021 2022 school year. Students and teachers will experience classrooms and hallways the way they once were. We are are hopeful that due to all the vaccinations and due to uh, time and all those things that we'll be able to to return to normal operation. On Wednesday night, the Conway School District announcing it's returning to brick and mortar education. Assistant Superintendent KK Bradshaw says the relationship between student and teacher isn't the same behind a screen. It is just very difficult to replicate or duplicate that kind of subtle nuanced interaction that occurs when when someone is teaching someone something and a child is learning something. With 75% of students in the classroom and only 25% learning from home, Bradshaw believes face to face offers more benefits academically and socially. We just really, really believe that the, the connection, the relationships and, and that interaction is just so powerful for for kids to help make them successful. That benefit of being in the classroom is something Lakita Golston says she's seen firsthand with her kids. When my oldest is having to quarantine, her teachers have reached out like, hey, you know, I can tell that she's kind of struggling and this and that. But then when she's actually on site, I don't get any of those complaints at all. But the idea of not having any type of virtual option worries the mother of two. For some families, uh, I don't think that it's really to kind of just switch them out like that. For those who want that virtual option, administrators are sharing other options that are available to them, but they are outside of the school district. In Conway, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. Now, Mercedes alluded to those virtual academies that other districts are offering next year, but Bradshaw says staffing is too complicated in Conway and Cabot at this point. She says it's hard to staff for a school when you don't know how many kids are actually coming.